In this video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide to go from zero to $10,000 profit in 90 days. My name's Craig and I've made millions of dollars in online business over the past five years. These are the exact seven steps I would take if I was starting from zero. So let's get straight into the video with step one and that is get cash coming in as quickly as possible. Let me explain. So there's many different ways to get cash coming in, but I don't want to overcomplicate it. Just do anything, okay? So get a job at Tesco's, get a job at Walmart, Target, doesn't matter. Just do something to get money coming in. It doesn't have to be some fancy high paying job, but just get some money coming in. The reason for this is because when you have money to play around with, you have so much more freedom, so much more ability to test and make money faster. So the idea with getting cash in by any means necessary is to just allow yourself to obviously pay your bills, pay your rent, pay whatever, and use the remainder of the money to just pump into your business and pump into learning. When I first started an online business five years ago, I had a nine to five. I was a technical salesman and I was basically building computers, building servers, and I was also selling them, doing a bit of marketing. Okay, and I had money coming in from that. It wasn't a lot, but it was $1,500 each and every single month. And that allowed me to test different things. Through that $1,500, I came across e-commerce and that worked incredibly well. If I didn't have that money coming in, I would have never been able to actually go out, buy stock and test things and actually make money. The reason why I'm telling you to do this is because you have less anxiety and less stress and you also have more money to pump back into your business, right? If you have money coming in each and every single month, you don't have to worry about your bills. You don't have to worry about that side of things and you have so much more extra money to pump into your businesses. When you first start in business, you're not going to know where you're going. You're not going to know what you're doing. So it's going to take three to six months to really figure it out and really understand it. And if you have no money coming in, in three to six months, you could starve to death. You can't pay your bills. You can't pay your rent. So by having just money coming in, even if it's not a lot, but just enough to cover what you're doing, you're in such a better position because then you have so much more time and energy to put into your business. Because if you're just constantly worrying, my business is not paying me enough, my business is not paying me enough, my business is not paying me enough, you're just not gonna be in a good state to actually work on yourself and learn. So what is the next step to get to $10,000 profit in 90 days time? That is step number two, and that is keep your overheads as low as possible. So what do I mean by overheads. So overheads are things like your rent, your food, your phone bill, all these bills that are coming out of your account. The reason why it's important to reduce your overheads is because if you're getting money in from a job or from whatever, but you're spending all of it, there's no point in even having that. Like it's pointless. It's pointless. Okay. So we want to keep our overheads as low as humanly possible. We want to live below our means. This is incredibly important. You may think, oh, I've got a job so I can spend a bit of money on my lifestyle and stuff like this. But no, no, you need to be spending as much money on improving your future potential, not your current lifestyle. So that means get a shittier apartment, eat shittier food, don't eat out, don't waste money on temporary satisfaction. So this comes down to sacrificing, okay? Sacrificing and money go hand in hand. If you are willing to sacrifice short-term pleasure for long-term success, you will make it. And that's what it means by reducing your overheads. You live worse in the temporary, in the now you live worse for future benefits. I'm telling you to do this because I did this exact thing. I was earning $10,000 each and every single month, but I was spending 375 pounds on rent, $400 a month on rent, no heating, very little hot water, and it was terrible. I was also not going out. I was also not spending money on food and takeaway and stuff like that. I was using pasta and rice. Of course, this wasn't easy because I was 19, 20, and I was seeing all of my friends going to house parties, going to clubs, but I knew that that short-term pleasure of going out, wasting the money and not improving myself, not in educating myself, would hit me later on in life. But if I focused on actually reinvesting my money, live below my means, I would reap the benefits in the future. And that's exactly what has happened. And even myself, I was earning $10,000 each and every single month in profit. And I didn't want to 
I didn't want to feel that. I wanted to feel like I was earning $1,000, $2,000 profit each and every single month to push myself forward. I didn't want to buy expensive things because I've seen it happen so many times. People make start making a little bit of money and they spend it all on bullshit. I wanted to delay the gratification. This is something my parents instilled in me from when I literally got my first job at the age of 12. They always told me to live below my means. If you can't buy something twice, you can't afford it. If you can't buy something 10 times, you can't afford it. That's actually how you make money in the long term. These are the first two steps. Let's get to step number three to making zero to $10,000 profit in 90 days. Step three is change your environment. So what do I mean by changing your environment? I mean the content you consume, the people you surround yourself with, and also your physical environment. Content you consume is very, very important. Netflix versus watching a business podcast, you know which one's actually gonna get you to the position where you want to be. Me personally, I used to watch loads of Gary Vee content rather than choosing to watch Netflix. Gary Vee provides very actionable steps of business and that imprinted into my brain the correct mentality to actually succeed. Every single day, you should look at the content you're consuming and ask yourself, is this actually benefiting my life? The people you surround yourself with are very, very important, whether it's friends, family members, co-workers, siblings, whatever, it doesn't matter. But you need to analyze the people you spend your time with. If all of your friends are smoking weed and partying and you don't want to become that person, the more and more time you spend around them, that is where you're going to end up. If all of your friends are pursuing nine to fives and they're in university, then that is where you're gonna end up. You need to be very, very critical and analytical of who you spend your time with. So when I first started an online business, I was very critical. All of my friends were drinking, going out clubbing, just fucking around. They weren't improving their life. So what I did is I would spend less time with them and I spent more time trying to find people with a similar mindset as me. I would go to networking events, I would watch other people's content, try and network with them and try and bring myself up. Right? So networking is actually very hard. It's hard to find people with a similar mindset as you. So. Often I just wouldn't go out and I wouldn't speak to people and I wouldn't do cool and interesting things. And this all comes back to sacrifice, right? Rather than going out clubbing and just putting myself in that bad environment, I would rather spend the time by myself or just watching a good podcast or just putting myself in the correct mentality to actually succeed. I was sacrificing short-term pleasure of going out clubbing and drinking and boozing for the long-term success of actually getting the correct mindset and making money and making money. So physical location is very, very important. There's two parts to this, okay? So physical location, if you're living with your parents and your parents are negative to your mentality, or you feel like you're so comfortable just being able to be fed and just everything's very, very easy for you, you need to put yourself in an uncomfortable position to actually grow and actually succeed. In my situation, my parents were very supportive of what I was doing, but I still felt like I had to move my physical location, reset my brain by just changing my everyday environment and putting myself in an uncomfortable position to actually get further forward. So if that means moving out your parents' house, as I did, I moved two and a half hours away from my parents' house, and that was honestly such a good decision. There's also a second part to change your environment, and it's surrounding yourself with more wealth. So whether that means going to a fancy cafe in a big city near you, or just going out and just seeing supercars or seeing things and seeing expensive houses, it's very, very good thing to do. What I used to do is I would go to the richest area that was near to my house and I would just drive around and look at the houses and just look up the prices on my phone on Zillow or Property Finder, something like this. And I would just kind of visualize myself being able to live in that house in the future. I would also go to fancy cafes in London, 15 pound coffees, but I'm then surrounded by people wearing lovely watches, people driving supercars, and it just makes you believe that it's possible. If you live in a very shitty town, a poor area, or you have a shit house and a poor house, House, then you're gonna just mentally put yourself in a box. You need to go see the wealth to believe you can achieve it. So step one is get cash in, do a job, do a side hustle. Step two is reduce your spending and reduce your overheads. Step three is change your environment, change the people you're around, change your physical location. Step four to getting from zero to $10,000 profit in 90 days is choose 
one thing and stick with it for six months minimum. This is incredibly important because one of the biggest mistakes I see over and over again is people have shiny object syndrome. They see the next thing and then they try that for a month and then they see the next thing and they try that for a month and then they constantly just never reach the depth of knowledge they need to actually make money and actually become a master of the craft. It's way better to master one business model and one craft than to know a little bit about 10 business models. It's so much easier to make 10K a month from one business model than it is to make 1K a month from 10 business models. You need to become a master in your craft. It doesn't matter if you're focusing on e-commerce or sales or an agency or affiliate marketing. It doesn't matter, but you need to reach the level of depth to actually make money. People come to me all of the time. I've tried Etsy dropshipping for one month and it hasn't worked. That doesn't count. You can't try something for one month half-heartedly and expect to see results. If you try something for six months and work on it each and every single day and do the other steps, I guarantee it will work. It will work. 99% of people give up month one. They don't even do it for a month, right? So if you just keep going for one month, you are literally in the top 1%. If you stick with it for six months, I guarantee it will work. The reason why I say six months is because within six months, if you're working at something each and every single day and you do step one, two, and three, I guarantee you will see success. It's the 100 hour rule. If you've done something for 100 hours, you are in the top 1%. So this is how I've seen so much success is because I chose e-commerce and I stuck with it through the ups and downs and the losses and the wins. I stuck with it each and every single day and I worked on it each and every single day. I didn't get shiny object syndrome. There was a point in 2019, 2020 where all of my friends were making loads of money from NFTs and they were making, some of my friends actually made over hundred thousand dollars in three months doing NFTs, but now they're earning way less than I am. And I was tempted. Obviously I was tempted. They were earning loads of money, but I knew if I stuck with e-commerce, I would make more money long-term if I stuck with one thing. So if you're watching this right now, you need to choose something. I talk about Etsy drop shipping. It can be that. It doesn't matter. Just choose one thing for the next six months you're going to devote your life to. Step five, to go from zero to $10,000 profit in 90 days is get a mentor in the field you want to do. When I say get a mentor, it doesn't mean you have to go out and spend thousands and do that route. What I mean is choose a few people online, on YouTube, on wherever, and study their free content and really master what they're doing and really understand what they are doing. Find everything that they're doing, find their free telegram, find their email list, find absolutely everything and study it. Watch everything, watch every video, make it your life and take notes around it. Just really study it because if they have seen success and you can replicate what they've done, they've probably done something a little bit unique, right? Everyone out there, everyone that's done e-commerce has done something a little bit different. Study that and understand what they've done that's different to everyone else and why they've seen success. Spend a few weeks studying multiple different people and the one that you like the most, if you do have the money to invest into a course or a program or a mentorship, I I would highly suggest it. I've done this multiple, multiple times in my life. I bought loads of courses, loads of mentorships, and I actually had a one-on-one -on -one mentor from the beginning. Right? I actually had a very close friend of mine who was able to help me a lot right in the beginning. The reason why I say get a mentor and pay for his course or a mentorship, whatever, is because it will fast track your progress. He will teach you how to avoid all of the mistakes that you will make in the future. So in school or university, you've been told don't copy from other people, don't copy other people's homework, this type of stuff. But this is just like, you can't use that same mentality in the real business world. Me, I've copied what other people are doing. I've made it maybe a little bit better, maybe a little bit worse. Maybe I've just worked harder what they've done, but it works to copy other people. If you're a beginner, which that is what this guide is for, zero to $10,000 in 90 days. If you're a beginner, copy what someone else is doing. Don't try and reinvent the wheel. Step six to making zero to $10,000 profit in 90 days is take action. So at the beginning, you're not going to know exactly what to do, but the most important thing is just get started. Just start. You're going to fail. You're going to lose money, but the most important thing is that you just start. I have failed so many times. I have lost hundreds of thousands of dollars 
and millions at times. And that is the reason why I'm in the position that I am today. It's because I just take action. It doesn't have to be perfect doesn't have to be perfect just take action and get started so right at the beginning of my journey i built a whole shopify website for a drop shipping product and i spent hours on that it's been crazy time but i spent a good five hours building the website figuring it all out and i never actually ran the ads I never ran the ads. I didn't take action. I just didn't do it because I was scared that I was going to fail. I didn't know exactly what I was doing. But in hindsight, I should have just started. I should have tested it at least. I should have just figured it out and I would have failed, but I would have learned more from actually testing it and knowing that I failed than I just not I literally didn't start it. I just didn't do it. And that's one big, big thing for beginners is they just study, 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 study for hours and hours and hours and they take no action. That is where you're going to learn the most. It's just taking action and figuring it out. Something my uncle would always tell me is the harder you work, the luckier you get. Like if you don't take the swing, you can't get it in. Like if you don't take the swing, you literally can't get it in. So you've got to fucking swing it. You've got to fail. You're going to mess up. You're going to make mistakes. But if you don't actually try, you don't actually take action, there is zero chance of you succeeding. So step one, get cash in. Step two, reduce your overheads. Step three, change your environment. Step four is one thing for six months. Step five is study a mentor. Step six is take action and get started. And step seven to go from zero to $10,000 in 90 days is rinse and repeat. Something I see over and over again is people see a little bit of success. They think they're amazing and they go try something different. They don't stick to their roots to what originally worked. If something works for you, if one thing works for you, keep doing that thing over and over and over again and just keep going. Let's say Etsy dropshipping is working for you. Let's say Shopify dropshipping is working for you. Once you find something that works for you, just keep going, keep pushing. Just keep doing the same shit over and over again. Okay, I found this product from AliExpress and it's a woman's jewelry bracelet. It's a woman's bracelet. Okay, let's find more bracelets. Let's keep going down and down and down and down and just keep rinsing it and repeating the step. There'll be setbacks, there'll be problems, but it's very important you just stay consistent and you keep doing it over and over and over and over and over again. So these seven steps are the exact steps I've taken to get to my position. This is exactly what I did at the beginning of my journey and got me to the position I'm in now where I'm a multimillionaire at 23 years old, living in Dubai and doing whatever I want. If you've made it this far in the video, that means you're in the top 1% and you have a chance of making it. I want you to comment down below your exact game plan for the next 90 days and how you're going to get to $10,000 profit. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and also get my newsletter in the description below and I'll see you in the next one.